We all know by now that dating and relationships are not all sunshine and rainbows, but like anything else worthwhile they require hard work. If you're far away from your lover, learn how to deal with a long-distance relationship and make it last. Not only can a lack of communication become a major issue, but trust, jealousy, and romance can all get in the way of your relationship. How to deal with a long-distance relationship Before I offer you tips on how to make your long-distance relationship not just work, but also thrive, I want you to answer one question. How long will your relationship be long distance? If you are in a monogamous relationship with someone and you are planning to spend your lives together, a long distance relationship has a goal. There is a light at the end of that long distance tunnel. But if one of you is taking a job somewhere else and you don't know the end game, it probably won't work. As much as we may want it to be, life is not a romantic comedy. If you are in a long-distance relationship, your partner won't take a red eye to you in the middle of the night to profess their love and announce they are moving across the world to be with you. That is just not reality. So, before you even take these tips on how to deal with a long-distance relationship, think about that. Once you have, I hope these tips and helpful hints are in fact helpful for you and your faraway partner. Number 1 Set Alarms whether you and your long-distance partner are in varying time zones or not, it is always smart to set an alarm for their schedule. I am not saying to set an alarm for when they go to work, have lunch, and go to yoga. But if they wake up at 4 a.m. your time, wake up and send them a good morning text and go back to bed. Number 2 Plan Virtual Dates Clearly being long distance means you won't be seeing your partner in person multiple times a week as a nearby couple would. So, plan virtual Skype or FaceTime dates and stick to them. If you video chat every Monday and Wednesday, don't cancel. Number 3 Plan Real Dates When you do see each other, whether it is on the weekends or once every other month, make plans. Don't just wing it. You want to get the most out of your time together. So do what you love the most. Of course, you will want private and intimate time. But plan dates, outings, or activities like you would if you lived near one another. Explore each other's cities and see where you may end up potentially. Number 4 Talk Every Day Missing just one day of communication can throw a long-distance relationship off. Long-distance relationships are already at risk for a lot of hurdles, but missing out on your daily check-ins just to say I love you or good night can mean a lot more than you might think. Number 5. Make the most of the time you have together. As I said about planning dates, make the time you spend together count. Now, I don't mean put a ton of pressure on yourselves to make the time perfect. That is unrealistic. I know in a long-distance relationship you look forward to your rare time together and put a lot of effort into it. Remember this is also your time to have serious talks about your future plans. Number 6. Don't fight via text. All couples fight. Those who live together and those who are across the world from each other all have fights. But, when texting is your main form of communication, misunderstandings are a lot more likely to occur. If you are upset about something, text your partner that you want to have a video chat later that night. Then, discuss whatever the problem is face to face. Number 7 Use all the technology available. The world has changed a lot in the last 10 years. With all the technology available long distance doesn't even have to feel that way. Not only should you use video chats and texting as a way to stay in touch, but look at all the other things you have. Number 8 Send Gifts Now, you know how to use all the modern technologies to make sure your long distance relationship is strong, but bring it back to snail mail. Send each other handwritten letters. Send care packages of their favorite treats or a pillowcase with your perfume on it. Number 9 Leave Notes When you visit, leave love notes around the house for them. Pop one in their fridge, in their medicine cabinet, and in their wallet or work bag. You can start with places they will find your note right after you leave and end with places they may not open for a few weeks. These will make your partner's day. Number 10 Live in the Moment Although long-distance relationships only tend to work out when there is a plan for the future, 
remember to live in the moment. If you are only ever thinking about when they move or you move, you will not actually enjoy each other. Number 11 Be reliable. If you and your partner have a phone call every night at 9 p.m., keep it. If you are running late let them know. Keeping your partner waiting for your daily call or chat is not only disappointing to them, but disrespectful to your agreement. Number 12 Be available. You are probably in a long-distance relationship because one or both of you has an important job or life change that takes up a lot of time. That is fair. Your partner should support you in that. But that does not mean you can just slack in your relationship. You still depend on each other for comfort and venting. You cannot hug or kiss across the country, so making time for each other, even virtually, is vital. Number 13 Be thoughtful. This is key when it comes to understanding how to deal with a long distance relationship and still thrive. In person, you can touch your partner's back, smile at them, or cuddle. All these things show you love them and are thinking about them. But they come naturally when you are in close proximity. Number 14 Look at the benefits. I know, I sound so cheesy. Just give me a minute to explain. Couples that spend all their time together not only build up tension, but can even get sick of each other. Because you are far apart, the time you have together feels that much more special. And knowing you continuously miss them keeps your bonds strong. Couples can see each other every day and still lack communication. Making a long-distance relationship work means you are forced to communicate and work things out. Number 15 Communicate voice to voice. I feel like a broken record, but this is so important. I know it is so easy to just text all day when you have a free second. You can say one thing and put your phone away. But actually hearing someone's voice is so much more meaningful. Looking at each other face to face, even virtually, and hearing each other's voice is such a better way to communicate than with words on a screen. Conclusion. Hopefully, you will not need these tips on how to deal with a long-distance relationship for much longer because you and your partner survived your distance and are together romantically and physically. For more dating, relationship, love, romance and everything else you want to know about marriage and to stay up to date with my latest videos and amazing dating tips, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and do not forget to press the bell icon to never miss any notification. Thanks for watching. You can also visit hodamacarellashanshipwork.com for more dating, relationship and marriage tips.